okay, well, hello everybody, this is my second attempt at making this video, since I royally fucked up the previous attempt because I forgot to turn off my external speaker, so, that, which, if I don't do that, then it causes me to have a real echoey effect because, because the microphone's picking up two things, it's picking up the music coming from, coming from, uh, within the internal speaker on my computer, as well as the external one that I got, got on my coffee table. So, because of that, I had to delete it and start all over. So, so yes, I'm a little ticked off at it, because, granted, I was only, I was only about five minutes into the video until I realized my error. So, but anyway, um, let me go ahead and intro the music. Uh, so, but this is going to be, a uh, Old Sorcery, Strange and Eternal. I'm going with Dungeon Synth this time, because, um... The Faction Assault video I made yesterday was copyright claimed by YouTube. Um, I was playing uh, Doom Metal. It's a new subgenre that I just discovered. I mean, I thought it was just the soundtrack to the game Doom, you know, 2016 and Eternal, and that was it. But no, it's like a whole subgenre now. Um, but yeah, so I'll be, I'll be playing that uh, in the background. Okay, so, um, so, uh, this is, uh, this is my B and Peewee, <laughs> B and Peewee build, <laughs> in reference to Queen Bee and little old Gobby Shaman here, so, um, but what I have right now is untested, and, uh, to sketch out a bit of history, uh, a few days ago, um, uh, one of my viewers, I can't remember his name, But, uh, I was playing my main build here. He was wondering why I don't have, a uh, why I, or he was, think, he was saying I should put Queen, Queen Bee in here in place of Goblin Shaman. Now, those that have seen my other videos, well, I don't consider her a terrible character, but it just, I've been, uh, I've been burned too many times by this ability. And, uh, even then, just, plus, um, uh, you know, I mean, if she gets, you know, if she gets, well, for first off, you have to have a four match in order for this to work. If you ain't got it, then you're kind of hosed. So, if you're on the receiving end of an essence of evil and you have no four match, then, and on top of that, you know, she's not stun proof either. So, and with um, the high, with the uh, content that I usually do, high tier PvP, there is a whole lot of stun effects going on out there, so. So, but anyway, um, what I did decide to do, since I just now remembered this, remembered this moment, um, I went ahead and, uh, took a suggestion and threw, um, and threw Goblin Shaman in there. Now, um, the ori originally what I had, originally I had, um, uh, I had, um, uh, I tried out King Gob and Queen Beatrix. That didn't work out that well. It just, it, it was sort of kind of a, I wouldn't want to say a mana block, more of a gem block, I guess. Because, I think I have that. I mean, King Gob brings, brings out a bunch of brown gems, but the thing of it is, is Queen Bee uses uses uh, green and blue, so that kind of created an issue. It actually slowed the build down. So, so that was my original, and then, okay, I guess, uh, Shaman and Elemental. And then, um, and then I went with that. And let me go down here. So then I went with this setup. So which um which again it seemed to work okay, but but again, um again I'm doing like high tier PvP. Where um 
where this doesn't always work. And again, she is the sole damage dealer in this build now. Again, I used to have a uh, King Gob down here, but they they kind of choked each other for lack of a better word. So, so I went ahead and I and remembered that I think this was his original suggestion. Have oh, no, no, yeah, it was, it was. Queen Bee replacing Gob Shaman, but still having having King Gob here in this slot. Okay. So, I went ahead and tried this instead. Got King Gob out of there and put Queen Bee in his place. Uh, played that for a while. Um, it actually... Uh, I mean, hang on. Let me turn this up from my end, because I can hardly hear this. So, so, again, played with this for a while. It seemed to go okay, but again, I'm getting burned quite a bit by using this. Now, I think what I, I think at the time, when I was initially complaining about this, the Yellow Mentalist class didn't exist. So, at some point, when I started looking elsewhere for, for different builds and whatnot, you know, again, the Elementalist class didn't exist at the time, so that was why I went with mostly goblins. But now, now that uh, now that I have my Elementalist to 100, and let me go here real quick, quick and check. Okay, so it's still up. It's also started to develop this habit. It um, it unlocks this level 100 talent for some reason. And uh, I often don't, I often don't remember to come over here and check until. For some odd reason, um, my main guy all of a sudden gets stunned. I'm like, what the hell? You know, it's, maybe he was cursed or something. But, but now that the uh, now that I have Elementalist to 100, um, I figured, or no, let me rephrase that. When I started running with Queen, when I started running with this build, um, I've kind of loosened up with this ability. Now, I don't wait until. 72 damage, one shots the entire group. Now it's just when uh, the entire group is debuffed, then I'm 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 probably more likely to go ahead and use this because even if they do come back at me, because my magic because the gems produce nothing and 40% didn't kick in, they're not going to retaliate with much because the whole group's going to be frozen. But it's it's not guaranteed 100%. Um, like for example, if if Zolgoth, even if he was debuffed, I'd probably still hold back on this. So, but you kind of get the idea. I can be a bit more liberal. And then, um, one other thing I thought of when I was, I was searching around for something else. You know, since I've, you know, since I've already gone through this trouble of changing characters, I was wondering, hmm. Maybe I wonder if I could put something here in the place of Mirage and Queen, just out of curiosity. Um, that was where... And I think I chose blue, in keeping with the theme here. Uh, I just started tooling around and then came to Frostfeather. This is a card that I got, uh... I got either yesterday or the day before, so it's Bram Spank and new. I've been on the receiving end of this before. So, freeze all enemies when I die. I didn't really want to... I didn't really know where, where to put them because I don't... I don't like having... I don't like having any of my characters dead in my group. So... But I did see this. Um... Since... Since my Ocean Tome... Summons an... Uh, creates an Ice Storm. I'm like, hmm... So this could actually be a good substitute for Mirage Queen. Um, especially since now... Actually, now that I think about it... Okay, it's an elemental. It's an elemental. Okay, so... So yeah, this is an elemental too, so... Okay. Yeah, I, I just now thought of that. But I thought about putting him... Having him as a replacement, because again... Um, kind of an upside to this. I don't have to wait until I have a four match now. 
and I'll most certainly have an ice storm up. And also, kind of like Queen Bee, he has arcane and gets one magic when he recasts a spell. So, eventually those damage will go up. And again, um, in PvP, being able to curse your enemies is very important because you're going to have a lot of impervious enemies. Um, you're going to have a lot of a lot of enemies with immunities. So being able to shut down those immunities is going to come in handy. So, oops. And um. So, and then, as far as, I mean, I don't, I don't want to put Frost Feather at the top, even though, freeze all enemies when I die, but I, uh, cause, I still, I still kind of need to be able to blow the board too. So, that's just gonna, or it's gonna force me to, it's, it's gonna force me to rely exclusively on, uh, yellow matches. Like I said, being able to blow the board is all important. So, but like I said, this is untested right here. It just, like I said, I was just tooling around with the search engine, looked around a bit in front of Frost Feather, and, and again, I got this guy yesterday or the day before. So, didn't really actually take a look at him. I just knew about this. And I just saw this, I'm like, hmm, cursing. And again, with this ability here too, unlike Mirage Queen, I don't have to wait for a four match between greens and skulls. I can just go ahead and cast it when I got it. So. Hey, right, one, one. And... All right, but I'm only gonna do like maybe one or two of these, so. Oh, I gotta turn my controller around. Hold on. So I can already kind of see a drawback. Um, yeah, so I'll probably have to put the Queen Bee towards the top. Because I just thought of this too. There's no chance of getting an extra turn. That's a half burn right there. I call it, or I call it a half burn. If I don't get any matches, but the 40% does kick in. So, I call that a half burn. That's a burn. And another burn. It looks like I'm gonna have to reposition that, cause yeah, cause I'm only gonna, I'm only really gonna need to use that ability once.
So, I'm thinking now, between this and Mirage Queen, it can actually go either way. try that. Losing it. And that's something else, too. I totally forgot. I totally forgot to mention that. Um. I got, uh, three badges of whatever they're called. Three badges of cleansing. I mean, I got... Yeah, here they are. I mean, I've got this as well. So. I guess, uh. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because uh, during, uh, during the period of time before I made this video when I was running with this group, I mean, there were times where somebody I'd be up against an elementalist and one of my guys would be frozen at the outset, but then... What are they? And then one of these would kick in and it would cleanse it too, so... I mean, this is nice to have in a pinch, but again, there are a lot of times where, you know, something would be cleansed almost the very moment, you know, the debuff would come up. So Yeah. I, yeah, once all the the blues and or yellows got taken, that pretty much killed me right there. Ah, good old web spinner. So, I must find a brown, I must find a brown match. So, yeah. None to be found unless I can find a four match or something. Because, because the web, the, the, de, the web debuff gets uh, added first, and then the triple damage afterwards, so... I don't think he can use any skulls, but there's no browns. Holy shit. Yeah, no kidding. Also, this is this is one of the reasons why uh, you need curse in PvP because there's a fair amount of bless there's a fair amount of bless in these teams too. Okay, uh, any four matches? Nope. Burn. Luckily, there is a four match. Another burn. Yeah, I got uh, two people over there that aren't debuffed.
so he's not impervious. So, so far, I'm, um, I'm leading back towards the Mirage Queen. Because at least on Mirage Queen, I was actually, um, uh, it, actually waiting on a four match would be more worth it. Because, yeah, it's like, because it's to where I'm only using this ability one time just to get the curse on. But with Mirage Queen, oftentimes I'm using it more than once, so it's more useful. And uh, something else I forgot to mention, forgot to, totally forgot about. All the metals start with 50% more mana. So that'll help him and him. So, but like, this was the, um, so this was the original build I had. This is one I played for a while, so it looks like this one here is in the books. My, uh, and Peewee build. Um, I think probably, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'll go ahead and do one. But I'm thinking this build will probably be more effective in, uh, difficulty 12 runs. Let's try that. Um, I'll just I'll just pick Pan's Veil, just picking one at random. Yeah, that makes it a little yeah, it makes it a little easier there, so. Frost Feather is actually pretty good, but not quite what I'm looking for. Okay, I gotta restart. It happened again. Try that again. <laughs> yep, birds. No, 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 no. That'll give him a five match. A little lucky there. Oh, that's a burn. Okay, there's a five. There it is. You know, it had to be there. Yeah, so definitely Mirage Queen over Frost Feather.
But yeah, it looks like difficulty 12, these uh, D12 runs, it seems to be a better fit for this team. Like I said, because um, the bad guys over here, they're not really optimized for one turn till for one turn kills, and they're most they most certainly don't have Zolgoth in there, or Leona's Tower, or Obsidius, or Enrage Enrage Cataran or whatever his name is, or Storm or Stormhammer, or whatever the name that whatever the name of that mythic is is stuns a random player whenever somebody casts a spell. I can't remember his name. Luckily, I haven't seen him in a long time. To burn. That's a half a burn. So I just wanted to do a demo of that build. So and um, oh, oh, let me uh, let me kill the music real quick. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, thanks for listening, everybody, or thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.